Holy sh! What's up, guys? Do we have some tea to spill today and talk some sh? Something I don't do very well, so that's why I got my friend Bryce Hall with me. <laughs> We're talking at a restaurant right now. And we got our friend Nikita with us because he's a professional fighter and make sure we don't miss anything and make sure nothing we say is incorrect. Because technically we are professional fighters now. No, we're not professional. <laughs> so first off, I'm going to start off wild, kind of like Bryce did, and say f all the YouTubers. Actually, f all of them. You guys are all f <laughs> All the YouTubers in the event. My no, 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 no. All YouTubers no, in actually, general. Yeah, f all YouTubers. You guys are <laughs> I'm gonna start with my opponent. There's so much back and forth and so much false shit being said about me from Gibbs' side. I'm sure you guys heard about the I wanted bigger gloves and less rounds and all. I didn't shut the fuck up. No, I didn't. You, and so you know that's you're just you're just trying to make up some fucking excuses because you're a bitch. Just keep in mind, guys. I weigh 165 pounds right now. Uh, with all the cardio we've been doing, I've been losing a lot of weight. I weigh 165 pounds, and Gibb knew that whenever he called me out, had my dick all in his mouth trying to fucking call me out. He wanted this so bad because he's fucking irrelevant. So I got a text today saying that I need to come up to 170. Five pounds in order to fight Gibb and I said fuck no I'm the A side he can fucking meet me on what I said and my expectations on everything because he was the one calling me out literally fucking gobbling on my fucking balls every fucking post was about me and how like I'm scared to fight him all this shit you really and like him gobbling on your balls and sucking your dick you want to talk about this <coughs> whenever you told multiple guys at the event to suck your dick I said suck my dick that's more of like a dominance thing and he said it maybe once no I said it like eight times <laughs> <laughs> be fucking professional all right there's weight classes for a reason. You can't be 165 and pulling up 190. His team is trying to like negotiate. They're like, oh, like there's no way we can get up. He has to come up. Uh, we'll, we'll pay him. They offered to pay me a certain amount to just like be okay for he can walk in at whatever weight he wants. Therefore, he walks around at like all of like 190, 195 right now. So that means they can give me this amount of money. He can just come in at whatever the fuck he wants. Is it bad that we're calling him fat though? Because I saw he was crying about that. He is fat. He called me malnourished, so I can say that. So yeah, okay. he, he is fat. He needs to fucking lose weight. Saw some sparring footage on my uh, TikTok for you page of Gibb and he did not improve at all from the Jake fight. <laughs> I asked how much he weighs right now because I still haven't been told that. They said, I'll ask the commission. It's kind of crazy that they don't know that already. I said, I'll ask the commission. All they told me was they need you to come up a bit um, because he's a bitch, he can't make weight. And he will not weigh more than nine pounds more than you. Nine pounds more than me. So if they need me to come up to 175, that means he's still gonna be 185. Nine pounds more, bro. What the fuck? That's that's what two weight classes heavier. That's like two, yeah. That's almost. That's, two, that's literally two weight classes heavier. Bro, like, if you're gonna get in the ring, take this shit serious. Or if you don't want to train, pay the consequence. Pay the fee. For example, me with it. For each pound he's over, you pay a hundred thousand. For every pound I'm overweight, it's a hundred thousand dollar fine. <laughs> and everyone can say something about like I'm a pussy because oh I'm scared of weight or whatever. Weight I don't think you guys party. understand. There, th that is a serious thing in fighting. You know. If you add 20 pounds behind a punch, that's very crucial. I'm just being real with you. It just doesn't make sense. Even um, if Gibbs punches look like this, one of those connects randomly, that, like, that could hurt. Exactly. For instance, even the Logan Paul fight, they agreed to that. They That's in contract. They allowed them to be like 40 pounds. Contract. Weight difference. It's contract. a contract, though. That's in the contract. If he was to hit him with the luckiest, just craziest shot, he has so much power and so much weight over Mayweather, it would drop him. It's just actual physics. The point of the weigh-ins is to see if the fighter took the fight serious. It's not even excuses for my end. I, I literally, they've been in camp with me, bro. I've lost 15 pounds being in camp. I dropped 20 pounds. I look like you now. It's so much. It's so. Fuck you. It's scrawny as fuck. It's a fuck you. <laughs> um, it's so much easier to cut weight than to come up and weight, especially when there's two weeks left until the fight. You're telling me to gain fucking 10 pounds. That's really fucking hard, actually. But I'll come up. I'll come up as much as I can. My proposal to you, Gib, like I said, you cannot be more than 175. I'm the A side. Quite frankly, you came in so last minute, and I don't give a fuck. You have no say in anything. You're a fucking just hand me down add on at this point. It doesn't matter. Even if you get in the gym, you're going to get dropped. It doesn't even matter. But yeah. like, you lose your fucking weight. Stop being a fucking. The outcome's going to be the same, but just lose your weight, dude. What's up with all these fighters coming in looking like the Pillsbury Doughboys? Yo, it's like if you're training hard, you're going to lose that fat. So, so, yeah, you're going to see it June 12th. We are going to shock a lot of people. Austin's a pussy, but at least he's agreeing to make 165. Yeah, yeah, no. Eat less food. Food and run more. It's so simple. I know gaming is your career. We're not, actually, I don't even know what the fuck. But all your videos, you're just sitting in that chair. Get out of the chair. Go to the gym. Lose that weight. Meet at 175. You're gonna gain 10 pounds for this shit. Get in the fucking gym, bro. Stop fucking slacking. Work your ass off. Trust me, you're gonna fucking need it. I just want to see a better uh, performance than your Jake Paul fight. Take control of the fight early. Yes. But when I saw that sparring footage on my For You page on TikTok, 
it Dude, he got worse. Yeah, it looks like you got worse. For those of you that want to watch me fucking knock this pussy out and watch Rice knock out Austin, go to the link in the description down below. You can get tickets to come see it live at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, or there's also the pay-per-view link down below. You can buy it on pay-per-view and watch it live. It's Crazy. going to be a literal movie, and I can't wait for all the haters to just shut the fuck up. Remember, we're just TikTokers. We're just TikTokers. Should we show some training footage? That'll be next video. Don't worry. Fuck you, give your pussy. Dump in the jump for the shit. I'll tap when I speak. I'll cap with the speech till they cut up in the rapture. I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, been a long day. Hit your line with your fog, with the light sticks. Maybe help me spot.